Hey guys, what's up? Today I wanna to talk with you guys about adventures in the great outdoors, boudoir edition. And I'm gonna be talking about where and how to shoot boudoir portraits outdoors. Okay, so my first tip for you guys is to shoot during what us photographers like to call golden hour. So what you wanna do is you wanna shoot um, about an hour before sunset. But what I really like to do is I actually like to shoot more around like, if the sun sets at like seven, I like to shoot more around like 4 p.m. And I like to use a reflector to, um, I like to have the sun behind my client and then ref put the reflector in front and reflect the light back onto them. That's like my favorite personal thing to do. Um, I like shooting personally with like super, super bright light. Um, so let me know what you prefer, but tip number one is uh, golden hour, or you can do what I do, which is to shoot like a few hours or a couple hours before sunset. Um, but especially for boudoir, boudoir, golden hour would be really lovely to give you that nice golden light. Um, and the next tip that I want to give you guys is to pick a place that is like private, okay? So you can do like an Airbnb, or um, you could find somebody who has land, like maybe a friend has land or somebody like you've driven by and somebody has like really nice land and you can just ask them if you can use it. Um, you can use like your yard if you have like a nice private yard um, or you can even use um, a park. So I have done outdoor boudoir at a park, but what I did was I went to the park ahead of time and I made sure that it was like not a lot of people there. There wasn't a lot of foot traffic, stuff like that. And then I had my client bring like a trench coat type of thing. So if we heard anyone coming, she would quickly put that on. <laughs> so that's what we did. Um, but really there was like no foot traffic. There was, I think there was literally like one time somebody walked by um, and it wasn't a big deal at all. So, um, I personally like to find like really nice parks. Um, so it depends where you live. Like if you live in, you know, Manhattan or something, you're probably not going to choose that. But, um, in Wisconsin, that's what I like to do. And obviously Airbnbs would be cool, um, that have like really nice land. There's been a couple that I've rented that come with like acres of like meadows and stuff. And those are really cool to do. Um, or even just ones with like really cool porches, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, you could have her bring like a trench coat or like a long robe or something so that she'll be like warm, but also something so that if somebody comes by, she can quickly like cover up and put that on. Um, and what I like to bring with me to these outdoor boudoir sessions is I like to bring a giant reflector. I'm talking like a 10 foot reflector. I love my giant reflector. I usually like prop it up and like shoot like behind it. <laughs> like it's the greatest thing ever. I like using the white side. It's really, it bounces a really nice white light back onto the subject. Um, I like to bring a step stool even for outdoor boudoir because I'm super short and I like to definitely shoot a little bit above eye level. Um, I like to bring like some, like a towel or a blanket because sometimes the grass can be like super wet and I have shot in the river before. So you could go find like a, you know, lake or river or whatever and just find somewhere that's not like super traffic heavy but just remember like you know people hang out in the lake in bikinis so like whatever your subject's wearing is probably the same as or more than a bikini so um and then as far as what kind of poses to use for outdoor boudoir spoiler alert you can use the same poses you don't need like you know, I always just kind of have, like, I've talked about this before in my previous Facebook lives, but I have what I like to call like my five core poses. And it doesn't matter if I'm at an old building or my studio or, you know, a river or whatever. Like I really use the same poses. <laughs> you know what I mean? So really you just have your five core poses and you start with those and then you can have them sort of move, you know, wherever, you know, <laughs> I'm just posing right there. So seriously though, like you don't need anything fancy. You don't need like a tree leaning pose or like just do what you normally do. Get them in those core poses and then you can move them from there. Now that that is said, I wanna go ahead and just summarize everything that we talked about. So uh, tip number one is shooting golden hour. Tip number two is shooting outdoors at like a park or private land or an Airbnb with land, um, something like that. Uh, the next thing would be to have her bring a robe and a coat. Um, the next thing would be to bring a giant reflector, step stool, towel, um, 
uh, blankets, things like that. And then the last tip is that you can use your same poses that you always use. You don't have to overcomplicate things, um, but you're just in a new setting. So you're gonna do the same poses and then once you have them in the core poses, then you can kind of move them slightly, you know, from there. So I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.